I am Anil Kumar sharing with you application question related to quadratic relations. The question here is, a model rocket is launched from the roof of a small building and its path can be modeled by the equation h equals to minus 5t square plus 50t plus 55, where h represents height of the rocket above the ground in feet and t represents time in seconds. What is the height of the building? How long will it take the rocket to hit the ground? So, so in this particular equation, which is h equals to minus 5t square plus 50t plus 55, you should know t is greater than or equal to 0. So when we are looking for what is the height of the building, that really means that at that time, when it is being launched, t equals to 0, right? So that is what you need. So right, height will be minus 5, 0 square plus 50 times 0 plus 55. So 55 is basically the y-intercept or h-intercept in this case. So the answer for this is that the height is going to be 55 and always look into the units. So where height above the ground is in feet. Right? So you have to write 55 feet. So I hope that makes sense. Correct? So in the given situation, it is kind of like this. So somewhere from the building, rocket is launched and it just goes down like this. So we just found that this particular height here is 55. So here we have height in feet. And time t is in seconds. Part B is, how long will it take the rocket to hit the ground? So straightforward. So basically, we want the time when height is 0. So that means height should equal to 0. So to find this answer, we substitute 0 for h and we get minus 5 t square plus 50 t plus 55. So we can take minus 5 common, right? So we get t square and here dividing by minus 5, we get minus 10 t and we get minus 11. This can easily be factored, correct? So the idea is to practice factoring and this actually is straightforward example based on the factoring techniques which you have learned. So let me get into those details. So we are looking for a product of two numbers to be minus 11 and some of these two numbers as minus 10. So the two numbers should be minus 11 and plus 1, correct? So that gives you the factored form. So we get t minus 11 times t plus 1. So the two valid answers are t equals to 11 and t equals to minus 1. So of course that minus 1 does not make sense since we know t is greater than or equal to 0. It really means that it could have been, right? So this is not valid, correct? So this is not valid. However, that is correct. So this time here is 11 seconds. So how long will the rocket take to hit the ground? So the answer here is 11 seconds. Include units in your answer. That is extremely important. So I, I hope it makes sense. Feel free to share your views and your doubts. Share my videos with your friends and all the best.